In this lecture, uh, I'm going to tell you a bit about continuous probability distributions. Uh, in particular, I'm going to tell you about the uniform and the normal distributions. Of these, uh, the normal distribution are what we're, is what we're going to make most use of, uh, but the uniform distribution is a bit more intuitive, and so let's start with that. And in order to understand the uniform distribution, uh, I'm going to start with a thought experiment. Our idea here is we have uh, this, I think of it as a wheel of fortune. We have a circle with numbers marked out on it, as starting with zero, going one, two, three, and four. And all of the numbers in between. So we're, we're talking about uh, not just the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and 4, but all of the real numbers that are in between these numbers. Okay, And so uh, we can give the wheel a spin, and so it might come to stop right there, and that would look to be like 1.37 and change there. So that's uh, uh, that's what we're talking about with this thought experiment, that this, this arrow coming around and with no preference at all stopping on a particular point. Okay. That is an example of the uniform distribution. Uh, the uniform distribution uh, is represented by a graph on the real number line uh, where the height of the line indicates in general what, what's called the probability density uh, of particular outcomes occurring. And so uniform, right, means it's the same throughout. So right here we're going to, this particular one starts at, lo it looks like negative 1, so we would have like a equal negative 1, and it ends at 3, and so we would have b equal to 3, and so there's no probability of anything happening less than negative 1. There's no probability of anything happening uh, for a number uh, greater than 3, but in between uh, 0 and 3, there's the exact probabil same probability of anything happening. Um, when we have a random variable like this, uh, we say that x is, this, this twiddle sign here, x is uniformly distributed between the value a and the value b, okay? And so this graph right here, okay, uh, is referred to as the probability density function, and we will see it um, uh, abbreviated as a PDF. Again, A equals 3 and B equals 4. Okay, now the probability of an event uh, is going to be the area under this PDF uh, between the endpoints of the event. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So here we have the, the endpoints are going to be at 1 and 2 for this particular graph. Uh, the height of this particular graph is 0.25. So 0.25 time for the height times the width, which is 1. So this will be the, the probability uh, of uh, an outcome being inside here is equal to 1. Okay. Now, what you need to know about probability, about uh, 
continuous distribution is the probability of a, an event that consists of a single point is zero because the area of this uh, segment from here to here is zero. Segments have no areas. If you pump it up a little bit, right, and give it a little leeway to either side, then there's some area there. Otherwise, there's no area and therefore no probability of that event occurring. Okay. Uh, we have formulas for a uh, uniformly distributed random variable. Uh, and these formulas, uh, you can have see their derivations if you ever take a course in mathematical statistics. If x is uniformly distributed between a and b, its mean is one half of a plus b. So that's just directly in the middle, right? Uh, and its, uh, its variance, okay, is equal to 1 12th of b minus a quantity squared. And so the, uh, the standard deviation will be the square root of this, of course. So the, these are nice and you have just little pat formulas for them. Okay. Now, we will be working a great deal more with the, with the normal distribution. Okay. And uh, an x, a, ver a random variable x is normally distributed when we have this notation x twiddle in m sigma. Okay. This is the mean. This is the standard deviation. And the good thing about the, the uh, normal distribution is you don't have to calculate it, it, its uh, um, mean. You don't, it, it's given to you directly. You don't have to calculate it. its uh, standard deviation. It's given to you, when you immediately when you are told that this is a normally distributed random variable, at least in classes and in textbook problems. Okay. Um, this right here, I have the, the probability density function for my normal distribution for the particular value mu equals zero and sigma equals one. And so you have this beautiful bell-shaped curve. Uh, you may very well have heard of the bell curve before. And so th this is it. When we say uh, the bell curve, we're talking about the normal distribution. And again, the probability of events is the area underneath the curve. Uh, in statistics courses, in fact, in elementary statistics courses, we spend a great deal of time uh, calculating, teaching you how to calculate the, the probability of event, and it can be, be incredibly confusing. Uh, I will, in the next video, I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the probability of an event. Uh, but, but as preparation for that, let me tell you what you do. We, we will have a function which will calculate what's called the cumulative probability. It'll give us the probability from negative infinity all the way up to a given point. Okay. And so if I if I know this area, the area up to here, and the area up to here, I can subtract the small area from the big area, and that will give me the area under the curve, and therefore our probability. Okay. Um, what and and so that that what I want you to understand and to to know in your bones is. is how these are distributed, you know, th that um, these markings right here are our standard deviations and that the you should be able to recognize that the incredible amount of probability is around the middle, negative two to two, negative three to three. That gives us the bulk of probability. We, 
you know, when a, a random variable is normally distributed, you can't get very far away from the standard deviation. Can't, can't, excuse me, can't get very many standard deviations away from the mean. That's a better way of saying it. Uh, there are tables, as I said. We will be using uh, the package SciPy. And that's it. Okay, I will tell you more about how to, to think about this uh, in our next uh, video uh, when we have some applications.